Hey, how you guys doing? This is Producer from Brothers Comics. Uh, still at Comic Con Revolution here in West Palm Beach. I am with artist Michael Seeley. Uh, Michael was just talking to me a little bit actually before talking about his um, his experience at Comic Con. Go ahead and tell that story real quick before we get you started. Like your yeah. experience in San Diego. Yeah. So my first time going to San Diego Comic Con as a fan was last year, and it was one of the most amazing experiences. And I I actually know some people that have been to multiple San Diego Comic Con. And never got a chance to meet anybody major, and I actually randomly got picked to actually meet Stan Lee, yeah. which was one of the most amazing experiences that I've had. It was like a bucket list thing. Yeah, absolutely. Know? Okay, so cool. All right, so Mike, are you from Florida? I, I'm not from Florida. I'm originally from Detroit, okay, Michigan area. I've yeah. um, been down here since '05. Okay. okay, so I'm actually on the other coast in Southwest Florida. Okay. You know? All right. Now tell me about. Like how you got to, you said you're doing a real project with Marvel now, for these Marvel, uh, like, action Upper deck action cards, yeah. Yeah. So tell me so, about that. Okay, so what that is, is um, they're custom cards, um, that, um, a deck of cards, you know, when you, if you look at any kind of cards, they got cards that are just prints and stuff. Yeah. Well, so they have custom art, um, that they designate certain artists to actually do the work for. Oh. So it's something I actually met and showed my portfolio at San Diego Comic Con. Yeah. And they said they were interested. Oh. Hadn't heard anything, and then they reached out to me in December, and I just finished the uh, deadline on the 15th of February. Excellent. All right, I always ask this question of creators. What is that conversation like with your parents when you were like, hey, you know what, I think this is what I want to do for a living. Like, this is how, now it runs the gamut from, like, hey, we're super supportive of you to, you know, you're going to have to get out of my house if this is what you're going to do. All right, so how does it go? percent honest. Keep it real, man. Okay, I'm keeping it real. All right, so my, my, my dad's an artist. My dad paints, but it's not ever been a, um, a regular job. He was a really good painter, more scenery painter, right. like uh, Bob Ross style. Yeah. Um, so I drew pictures since I was a kid. My mom wasn't always so supportive, and but it was, she was motivation in the same way that if I she seen something, she'd tell me what I needed to tweak. But it was always something to push me to do better, yeah. which was a good thing. Um, the, 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 but it was always a secondary, especially when you're in, in an urban community where I grew up at. Right. It's something second. Like, oh, that's cute. You do yeah. that. Right. But it's not something job. you get a real job. <laughs> so I went to a vocational school for electronics. I wanted to do the animation and graphic design part. But she was like, you're not going to get a real job. So I'm not going to allow that because you got to better take care of your family when you grow up. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not in electronics and automation. Technology. I'm actually in marketing and sales for a company now. Okay. Um, but but she said you have to do this. Right. But I wanted to do the graphic design. Yeah. So it was support, but not support to be able to make a living at it. Right. Right. So um, having a family, I kind of got away from it. And now my kids are gotten bigger. Yeah. So I'm able to do it more now and go to Comic Cons and meet great people and actually do some professional work. Right. What's your favorite part about the con? My favorite part is the people. Yeah. And unfortunately, I'm not the type of artist that sits there and draws the whole time. Yeah. I'm so, like, gotta be engaged. If somebody walks past, yeah. I feel like I, I need to talk. Yeah. Because that, I'm in marketing and sales because that's, I, I, I'm just engaged, I try to get engaged. So it's not the best place for me to do art or even do, like, commission art for certain people. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's good for me meeting people. Yeah. And I do that on everything that I do. Yeah. It's a lot of artists who get cons and you just see their hands in a book yeah. the entire time they're just drawing it. Because sometimes interact. they socially don't feel comfortable. Right. They're great artists, but they, as far as engaging with people, it's not always this strong. So for me, it's vice versa. I feel like I'm a pretty good artist, and um, but I, I, I like to really engage people. All right. Two more things. One, did you see Black Panther? I did, absolutely. All right, what's the thing? Um, I actually seen it twice. Okay. In two days. Okay. Um, <laughs> one was a premiere. Okay. Um, and it was an art and poetry focused premiere that they do an art and poetry event. That they rented out a theater, they did some art and poetry beforehand, and then they had a panel afterwards. Oh, okay. And I actually was able to give away my art. Nice. Um, and they reached out to me, do you want to give away some art for a raffle? I said, absolutely. So everybody stoked about it. They loved my art. Yeah. There's a few people want some gifts, they want some shirts and stuff like that. But back to the movie, yeah. 
amazing, right. stupendous. And it's like, I wanted to like it anyway. Yeah. And I was gonna be like, yo, I'm gonna like this anyway. If it's garbage, I'm gonna love it. You, still love you know it. what I mean? But I'm walking out of there and it's amazing. Yeah. And then I'm talking, grandma's was up in this place and they was like, I love this. I am Wakanda. Wakanda. You know, I'm like, right. you know, and then I see little white kids that want to dress up yeah. like a, like Black Panther. Right. So it's not like it's just like, oh, this is just something for you. Right. Yes, I'm glad it represents me, but when you got an awesome character that a Chinese little kid can dress up like Black Panther and relate to him, right. um, a white kid can, and a black kid can say, look, there's my superhero. Right. We saw it on a Thursday night from here. Uh, I, I haven't heard anybody say anything negative about it. No. And it's just, it's just amazing. I mean, I get goosebumps just talking yeah. about it, too. So, okay. That's and, exactly how I feel. All right. Where can they find you, man? Where can they find their, your art? Where can they find you? Where can I, they follow? All that stuff. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. I'm at ArtMJS or at ArtMJS. Um, I have a website, MikeSeeley.com. Okay. Um, I'm always posting new art. I'm always, I got some stuff in the works. Some of the stuff I can't talk about. Some of the stuff I just finished. So um, I am working on some new panel pages so I can better show when I go to San Diego Comic Con this year. Yeah. And then I'm and I'm trying to get into some bigger stuff. Hey, thank you very much for taking yeah, the time. Yeah, definitely nice I meeting you. It. All right, y'all yeah. take it easy. Thanks, see you guys. Much.